Hello and welcome to worship at Upper Clyde Parish Church. Whether it's your first time here or whether you come here often, it's good that we can join in together to worship in this set-apart time, in this set-apart space. And so wherever you are and at whatever point in the week you're watching this, the one who knows us, who loves us and who names us, draws us together, even, even through the strange magic of cyberspace. So welcome, welcome to worship. Now, last time we were party to a conversation between Jesus and his disciples, where the issue of identity was the topic of conversation. Jesus' reputation was growing, and as it grew, more and more people were asking and speculating on just who was this rabbi who seemed to be so wise and who seemed to be able to do such wondrous things. And so Jesus asked his disciples, who do the people say I am? And then followed that by the question that he still asks all of us today. Who do you say I am? This time round in worship, we'll be journeying further back in time. We meet Moses on a mountain who beholds a strange sight, a bush that appears to be burning, yet doesn't seem to be affected. It is not consumed by the fire. And here, having been told that he's on holy ground, the question of who is asked by Moses as he encounters God and asks the one who calls him to go on a rescue mission, who are you? Who will I say sent me? And in response, God's name is revealed. Some church news now, just an update on the opening of the building. <sighs> I used to have long hair and I kind of slightly ripped it out a little bit, but just an update. I'm afraid to say there's a wee delay. We're just now waiting on the electrician's report so that we can get that across to Presbytery. And also I'm just waiting to hear from the fire safety folks. So it's just a little bit of limbo time at the moment while, while waiting for reports. We are so very, very, very close to being able to open the building but I don't think we're now going to make it for the first Sunday in September. Um, we need to have a little bit of time to get the word out to you all. So um, I think we're going to have to scratch the first Sunday of September. Uh, this, as soon as I know, I will get the message out. I'll get the word out. Um, as I said, the building's all ready to go. We're poised, ready. We're waiting to tie up this, this last wee thing. So do bear with us. Once we're good to go, I'll ask the members of the session and others to pass on the word to you all by various means, as well as putting information up on the blog and on our outside notice board at the path leading up to the church and uh, in other ways. So I am very much hoping that by this time next week, um, I'll have some more concrete news. In the meantime, now in more normal whatever we think of normal is, in more normal circumstances, September would be one of our months where each Sunday there'd be the opportunity to make some kind of a donation to the ongoing work of the Clydesdale Food Bank, uh, donations of food and household items or money. Now, over the course of the year with COVID-19 and lockdown, there's been an increase of people who've been thrown into situations of economic hardship. So loss of work through redundancies and businesses going to the wall, along with the drying up of earning opportunities. All of these have increased. So with that, so has the increase uh, of demand for the food bank. So if you are able to make a donation to help the food bank, help folk within our communities here who are struggling, that would be brilliant. The link to the food bank donate page is both below this clip and it's also on our blog. If you'd prefer to donate food and other items, why not get in touch with me? And again, contact details below. Uh, I'm happy for you to leave items uh, such as food and other household goods with me at the manse and I can uh, organize for them to be uplifted. Thank you in advance and I'm always I'm always gobsmacked by the generosity of the community around here who do give so generously to the food bank. 
Finally, as usual, those of you with all age households, don't forget you can access all age appropriate uh, worship resources to make worship that more user friendly for our younger friends. The link is both on the blog and again down below this clip. So with all of that said, we take a pause now. Let's move more fully into our time of worship, uh, having a pause, uh, just a wee breather to put away any busyness around us, to still ourselves and to prepare ourselves to meet with God in worship. So let us be quiet for a moment. We gather together to worship the God of our fathers and mothers, the God of Abraham and Sarah, the God of Miriam and Moses, who hears the cries of his people and comes to their aid, who meets us on holy ground and calls us to follow, who invites us to leave our selfish ways behind and take up our cross and discover what it means to truly live. This is our God. So let us worship. Our opening hymn of praise is let all the world in every corner sing, my God and King. <laughs> 